Well, Neute, so I come to you with a sequel to my previous video where I tried out some junk food here in Angola. That actually went over well. Several of you asked for more, so I have gathered five examples of junk food that I have never tried before and that I will try now on camera. So, let's have a look at the first item. So, uh, Mr. Potato Crisps. Now, with a title like Crisps, I'm sure that you would imagine that it's a product of Inglaterra, of the United Kingdom, where they do call potato chips crisps. It, th this is actually a product of Malaysia, which I guess also makes sense, but I, you know, I, I I'm not certain if I've ever eaten any food that came packaged from Malaysia. It's not the first place that you think of in terms of buying some kind of processed food. So the flavor that I have is sour cream and onion. Handily, at least, this is all printed in English, so it's very easy to make out. Although I notice they do have multiple languages on the packaging to assist others. And, you know, sour cream and onion, I'm sure that these will be just fine. It looks like they've been packaged in a manner similar to that of Pringles. So I'm wondering if these are going to be the exact same shape as Pringles potato chips. If these are going to be very thin and very evenly spaced out. But mostly uh, I'm just hoping this is some good sour cream and onion because... Uh, I mean, at this point, I've been in Angola for more than five months, so it's been a very long time since I had any sour cream and onion chips. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I, I called it on presentation. They are exactly like Pringles. Same shape. It is the exact same idea as a Pringles can. So, uh, I, I guess Pringles doesn't have, like, a trademark on that or anything. But let's see how it tastes. Yeah, yeah, that that is a good potato chip, and and why wouldn't it be? It's it's hard to get sour cream and onion wrong. So that's a very promising start in this round of junk food. But let's see what I have next. You may recall last time I drank some passion fruit soda that I was not too keen on, but I wanted something that was authentically Angolan and a little bit unusual. So again, I, I have an Angolan beverage. This is manufactured in Luanda, and it, it's called Top Granadina. So this is pomegranate. And interestingly, this is made at the Coca-Cola bottling center in Luanda. So, in a way, this is a Coke product? It, they might just be using the same facility. I don't know if this is actually something from the Coca-Cola Corporation. Now, uh, part of why I didn't care too much for the passion fruit before is because I, I'm not really a, a fruit person. I'm, I really don't care for fruit most of the time. So, pomegranate. I, I Pomegranate is one of those fruits that I know of, and yet I don't think I've ever actually tasted. So, that, that actually smells really good. I, Am I actually going to like this? Because here I've been bracing myself for something that I'm absolutely going to despise. But this this smells kind of nice. Well, give it a shot. This is good. I I I'm amazed. Okay, this is actually really nice. I'm so glad I tried this because the 
this is very flavorful, especially for something like this, because it, it, it just looks like a cheap store brand, you know? But it has a lot of flavor in it. Um, maybe a little bit too syrupy, but still, very good, very sweet. Tastes great. I, I will enjoy drinking the rest of this. All right, well, that, that was a pleasant discovery, wasn't it? And what is a sikilop, you may be asking, if that is indeed how it is pronounced? Well, as I was buying these things from the Angomart, I saw this in the impulse buy section at the counter, and it was marked at only 155 Kwanzas, which, so like 30 cents, I thought. Yeah, yeah, I, I suppose I could give that a try. Now, looking at it, um, it it's a product from Turkey, by the way. So, yeah, you, you want to eat internationally? Come to Angola, apparently. It really looks like a wagon wheel, doesn't it? You know, the chocolate outside, you got some crumb on the base, you got marshmallow in the middle. It, but it seems to be a bit smaller than a wagon wheel, more the standard cookie size. So, I, I don't know. This might just have a lot more cookie in it than a wagon wheel does. But I'm hoping that the marshmallow is going to be strong enough that this will be a good taste. Hmm. Okay, not what I was expecting. Uh, the cookie is very strong in coconut. Re really quite strong in coconut. Uh, yeah. So the coconut flavor comes through more strongly than anything. You can barely tell that there is any marshmallow in here. What marshmallow there is looks to be pretty thin. Still, um, pretty good. Tastes just fine. It, it was worth 155 Kwanzas, I suppose. I, I guess I don't regret the impulse buy. All right, uh, on to the next one. So yeah, you'll recall last time I did a uh, Angolan Coke. This is also an Angolan Coke. There are roughly 27 different versions of Coke over here, not counting Coca-Cola itself, that would be the 28th. So this is again a product of Angola, made in Luanda, but by completely different people. It's uh, not quite the same size as the top drink. Totally different dimensions. But Planet Cola, okay. So it sounds like this is going to be another store brand cola, right? That, that's pretty much what I'm expecting, that this will taste exactly like the last store brand cola that I tried. But you never know, this might turn out to be a cut above. Uh-oh. Uh, no. Oh boy. Now, I, I really did not expect that of the two, the pomegranate was going to be the drink I would enjoy the most. Uh, oh gosh, the, this stuff has gone flat, so it doesn't taste that great at all. I, I guess I should have looked at an expiry date? Does this even have an expiry date on it? Ah, uh, goodness. Okay, it's... A, it's not supposed to expire. Looks like next year. If I'm reading this right, it, it's not supposed to expire till May of next year. But th this is flat, so something has gone wrong. Uh, wow, that, that's unfortunate. Uh, uh, flat pop is okay, but nobody's mouth is ever watering for 
flat pop. Ah, well, uh, uh, them's the brakes. So the thing about this brand of chips, Alimo, the, this is made in India, because again, apparently you have to go all over the world to get your junk food. The bag has an awful lot of air in it, like it's puffed up to its full size. So consequently, you're not quite sure just how much chips are in here. I, I mean, it says 60 grams, so okay, not a lot of chips. But it feels like even less when you've got this bag that's like a size too large and full of air, and you just kind of hear your chips rattle around inside. Why, why not just put them in a smaller bag? Uh, I don't get it. Maybe they have their reasons. Maybe this is better for protecting the freshness of the chip. These chips are nacho. Nacho is another one of those things that it is hard to do wrong. Hard to screw this up. Hmm. It does also have herbs, so I don't know what the herbs are going to do to the mix. The cheese is really quite strong. I, just sniffing it, you wouldn't think nacho cheese. It, it just smells like cheese. Oh, well, I'll give it a shot. Hmm. Pretty good. Uh, after you've started chewing it, you start to taste the herbs, and, and the herbs do add something to it. Makes it a, a little bit more interesting. It's not particularly zesty, but the herbs give it a little extra something. So, uh, yeah, yeah, those are some good nachos. So, I thank you for joining me as I, again, found an excuse to try out some unusual junk food here in Angola. If you're enjoying these, let me know, because I'll keep doing them as long as there is junk food here that I haven't tried. So, you know, I, I, I guess I have 25 more colas to cover. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, ciao for now.